All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, we're back for, I would say, a big heaping amount of stress. In today's episode, it is my goal to find, take on, and hopefully destroy the Queen Bee. However, if you've watched this channel for some amount of time, you'll probably know that me and the Queen Bee we don't necessarily go together, because even though I have played Terraria for quite literally thousands of hours, I have always struggled with the Queen Bee. Now, I will say that when we were playing Terraria 1.4, right at the very start, I kind of peaked a little bit, and I actually got fairly decent at the Queen Bee. Like, I remember when I took it on in Master Mode for the very first time, I won the fight, and I felt very good about it, but since then, I feel like my skills have pretty much fallen off. So today's episode is going to be hard, but the good thing is, alongside the fight, we do have our very own Brain of Cthulhu, and we also have an Eater of Worlds, and we even have this awesome sword, which we probably shouldn't be using, but I am so attached to it. I really do love this katana. I feel like a, a samurai. I feel like I have been sworn to this sword, to this blade, and it will follow me all the way to the Moon Lord. That's right. That's my commitment. But yeah, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe. And because people want me to say it, washing your hands. That's right. Have you washed your hands in a while? Me personally, I washed them a couple of minutes ago. I thought I ain't touching that keyboard without the most smoothest germ-free hands of all time. And that's my commitment as well. But yeah, welcome back. I want to say, um, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to get a habit of saying this at the start of every episode, because I actually kind of find it a little bit annoying. I won't lie. Thank you very much for the love on yesterday's episode, because yesterday's episode just randomly did really well. And I just want to say I, I, I'm really grateful for it. Um, I think it's kind of becoming clear that, that new people are maybe discovering the channel. Um, subscriptions are, are up and all that. Um, so if you are new, um, I always, <laughs> it's weird because when I think about how I do my commentaries, uh, I always just kind of assume that it's the same 10 people listening. I really do. I, I don't even think about the fact that there could actually be new people out there watching every single day. But if you are new, thank you for finding the channel and yeah, it's cool. I'm glad you're here. How's it going? Um, <laughs> that's about it. But yeah, I, I really appreciate it. It's one of my pet peeves on YouTube, I'm not gonna lie. Like, people saying, thank you so much for the love on the last episode. I... no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Please. I don't want to hear it at the start of every episode. <laughs> you can't be too nice to people. That's it, right? I can only give you lot so much love. Alright, the rest has to be mean-spirited. You know, you've, you've got to earn my affection. <laughs> That's a weird statement. I am just joking. Anyway... Um, so to do this, we need to actually find a queen bee biome, uh, which I do not have. But the good thing is, is I haven't actually, and let me look at this, I haven't explored much of the jungle yet. So this is kind of good. Because I might commit to this, I, I want to do it every single let's play, and I always forget about it, or I just kind of brush it aside. But I would really love to, I would love to build my Plantera Arena in pre-hard mode because I think that that is probably the the way to go. It's such a it's such a better idea. It will save you so many deaths in hard mode. Even though um, you know the pickaxes are not as good as you'll get in the late game. You know in hard mode, I still feel like it's worth it. But I say this as somebody who's never actually bothered to do it. So I really want to do it in this let's play. I really hope that I find the time. All right, look at that little bit of dynamite there. I do not want to die to that dynamite. There's also a nymph there, and I also do not want to die to her. Um, so let me scoot around a little bit. Let me try find a queen bee biome, um, and and see if we can get one. That'd be nice. It's funny because as I like run my way through the jungle, and I'm still not like the most strongest character in the world. It, I will say it is nice to come here and to not instantly have to to die every couple of seconds because I remember back when. Uh, the series began and we'd come here. It was awful. Like I was <laughs> I was like running in Getting to look at a chest dying coming back. 
All right, I was in the I was in the death cycle that we've all been in before, right? Every Terraria fan can relate. It's nice to come in with a little bit of power. Usually when I come here, I do not need to have, have killed so many bosses to, to gain that power. But hey, this is Eternity Mode. This is Fargo Soul Mod. And challenge is, um, is the fun of it in reality. Ooh, okay. Right. I see some honey. I wish that... Because I don't think it does. I wish that honey was actually a real indicator of where the, the biome was. Like, I wish that you could see the honey and go, okay, right. So the, the queen bee biome is definitely around here. But I think it's just part of, of natural, like, generation of the world, isn't it? I think that should be a thing. I think I think it should be, like, an indicator. Like, ah, oh, a little bit of honey, all right? The, the queen must live by here. All right, so here it is, the, the queen bee biome. Now, oh my god. <laughs> Please. Come on, though. Come on. Come on, Fargo Soul Mod. I was about to say, quite literally, I was about to say, all right. So we've got to be careful around here. But I guess the good thing is, is that because of the fact that um, that we have, well, because of the fact Fargo Soul Mod gives you a free summon, I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. But we have signed ourselves up for death. Let's just be honest about that. Uh, I do not have any buffs. This was an awful idea. Summon, you're going to really have to do some work here if we're going to survive. The only thing I've got going for me is a, is Boss Cursor. And Boss Cursor is really good to, to figure out where the, the boss is coming from, as you're all aware. This is so scuffed. This is so bad. I almost, like, actually want to end the fight so that I can do it in a different biome. So, one thing that's interesting, and I want to know about this. Maybe somebody who's more technical can let me know. So, you know how T-Mod Loader uses... Uh, the, the base installation of Terraria 1.3.5, right? Or I think that's how it works. Well, you know how T-Mod Load is now on Steam? I've noticed that a lot of my sprites are like 1.4 ones, and I'm assuming it's because it's using the sprites from the 1.4 version of Terraria in the game or something. It looks like a hybrid version. Is that right? Is that how that works? Or am I just being a moron? Do you know what I mean? Very hard to explain, but people have asked me about this. They're like, how come you have the new pickaxe sprite in T-Mod Loader. I think that's why. I think it's because I don't have an installation of 1.3.5 running. It's like 1.4.1. None of this makes any sense. So the good thing about Fargo Soul Mod is that, and we've, we've covered this yesterday. So if, you know, if you're new to the channel, you'll know about this anyway. Sorry, if you've been around. Um, the good thing is those summons that you get do work in any biome. So the best part about that is the fact that nobody can see right now, I'm sorry. Yeah, the best part about that is just that, you know, we can we can go do this fight on the surface. And I wonder, do I have to kill the royal... <laughs> I'm actually so glad that that's over. I really am. That was so bad. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to bring this to you. This, this really dark content. <laughs> can anybody see anything? I know right now, mobile gang are like, all right, got to crank that brightness up. Got to crank it up. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. A bee in my nation... What's that a reference to? All right. <laughs> now we've done that. We can do it on the surface and it's going to be good. I asked you lot yesterday if, you know, morally, are we allowed to do it on the surface? I'll just be honest with you. Nobody cared. <laughs> nobody cared. So I'm fine with that. The good thing about doing it on the surface is that I think mainly it just saves time. It saves time building arenas. Even though, you know how moments ago I was like, man, do you know what I want to do? Plantera Arena. James, never change. <laughs> I've already gone back on it. Okay, right. So let's buy some buffs and let's try this out. Now, what I want to assume is that it might actually be harder on the surface or just that phase that we were just doing. It might actually be harder mainly because of the fact that we're out in the open and we don't have blocks surrounding us blocking some of the, the stinger shots. So I don't think it's going to be as like easy as I kind of made it look just then. I also wonder, do I need to take out, maybe, the, um, the, you know, the second minion before we crack on? Let's begin. Be in my nation. Fargo, Mr. Fargo man, I really appreciate these free summons. I really do. So one thing I will say is that this actually isn't uh, the best weapon that we could be using right now. Mainly because of the fact that it's great for, for close range, the weapon that we had. Um, you know, the, the, the sword and all that. But it, it, because we're doing this fight and it's not close range, it isn't amazing. Tell you what, let me just bop that on there. 
Let me make sure it knows where to go. Brain of Cthulhu, you too. You better know where to go. So I'm just going to use my bow for now. And then when it starts getting very rapid, we'll, we'll swap over. But yeah, kind of like what I said. I feel like because we're out in the open now, um, it is a little bit harder. Like, you can see that it's firing out a, a row of stingers. A ring of stingers. That's probably a little bit better. I do really like the, the little accessory that we have as well. The one that um, spits out all the little um, the little vial feeders. I think it looks great. It's really cool. Um, I'll say it again. This is something I've been preaching a lot recently. I just honestly love so much that this mod, this little playthrough, really is vanilla 1.3.5 just remixed. And I like that because I like the core vanilla 1.3.5 experience. I really do. I, I have a lot of fun with it. So, like, knowing that this is just pretty much the same game, but everything's been cranked up, it's good fun. That's why, at the start of the series, I was kind of like, this is what people wanted from, from Master Mode. You know, in, in a way. You know, maybe not this extreme. Maybe not this modded looking. But it kind of is. So, yesterday, I was talking about the housing update. And I was talking about the fact that I had no idea about um, the pipes that were going in. Um, I got another update, which is quite cool. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, because it was only a hunch yesterday. Basically, whenever I go see the house, it's a building site, right? As in, there are multiple builders there, building away at the home. Now, I'm not really allowed to be on there, if I'm being honest. It's like, you know, it's a bit of a moral grey area. I do not have the safety warrant to, to be on there. Do I still go to take a photo? Hell yeah, I do. Anyway, the good thing is they've moved all the, the safety gates and all that so that now, once they've left at 4.30 every day, I can just go see the house, which is really nice. I don't have to, to feel awkward around a bunch of builders. So it's cool. Yesterday, um, me and Court just went and just stood outside of it for an hour, just chatting, and it was really nice. Because um, Courtney works until half five every day, so she doesn't get the chance to see it. So I have to kind of report back with, with photos. She gets the same updates you get, all right? Special pipes, she knows all about them. Um, this fight's really hard. I am like, I'm, I'm really winging this. So I don't know if I am meant to kill this royal subject, by the way. I don't know if I should have just been focusing on the fight. I want to assume, because the fight has been, like, grayed out, I want to assume that what's happening here is that it's not going to be lit up again until the... On, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, let me back up on here. Okay. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I am not getting back up there, am I? All right. It's a, that's what I've got to do. I've got to get up here. I've got to head up here. Bam. Wrong. Okay. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. All right. You attach there. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this is a very scuffed fight. I think if it spits out another Royal Highness, this could go on for absolutely ages. But if it doesn't, and we just have time to actually work on the fight now with our summons and our bow... I think it could be all right. I do feel like if we are to win this fight, what I'm going to have to do is really focus on my movement. That being said, um, there's been multiple cases where people have said, all right, James, can we get a boomstick? Can we bring back the boomstick boys? I think this is the, this is the circumstances where I really should have brought it back. All right, so I heard a noise. Now, what do we want to assume is that it's going to start charging me. Whoa, okay. The swarm of bees, is that how it is? Yeah, what I want to assume is it's going to charge me quite a bit. And I want to see if I can maybe run out with some demon scythes. So that while it's charging me, I have a better chance of surviving. Man, this is bad. This is bad. Those? Oh, God. All right, we, we definitely need a new weapon. That is, like, very clear. I, I think we go boomstick. I do. I think we go boomstick. I think now is the time. So, I think what we'll do is we'll head back to the jungle with, um, with a Spelunker potion in hand and, and kind of go from there. I don't know how much of that fight I'm going to cut out, if I cut out any, because that was quite long. But all I want to say is, bear with me. I apologize, I do, for dragging that fight out and not winning it. But hey, it is what it is. I got to learn at some point. But yeah, I think my, my bow skills were really bad. Obviously, I'm not even using the best bow. All the best arrows. <laughs> all the best aim. Okay, leave me alone. Do you know what I am? I'm as useless as, as Hawkeye in an Avengers movie. Ooh. He said it. So one thing I will say is that I think finding a boomstick will not actually be that difficult, mainly because we've explored so little of the jungle. What is it? It's an enchanted boomerang. I thought to myself, you know what? If I prep it, if I talk about this boomstick, 
Maybe the Terraria gods will answer. Maybe maybe it's been there the whole time, the fabled weapon. But no. Um, but yeah, I do think we'll, we'll find this relatively quickly, which is nice, I will say. So tomorrow is, is a day I've been looking forward to for a very long time, and I'm serious about that. Tomorrow, for the first time in six months, I finally get to have a haircut. And I'll just be honest with you, it's going to be life-changing. I really don't like having long hair. Like, I liked it as a teen. As a teen, I didn't mind it. Long curly hair, it's it's a look. <laughs> maybe not, for me, maybe not the best one, all right? Looking back on my teenage years. But hey, that's what being a teenager is all about. Um, I'm sorry to break it to you, teenagers, but you will look back and be like, why? <laughs> what was that about? But hey, it is what it is, all right? No judgment, no judgment here. Anyway, um, as an adult, I, I do like having the shorter hair, all right? Especially on the sides and on the back. Tomorrow I get my hair cut, and I just can't wait. I'm going to be a new man tomorrow. <laughs> this is, is going to be great. So, for the larger context, for the wider world, for those who don't know, England was in lockdown from, like, the end of December, maybe the beginning of January, until about last week. So last week, you're allowed to, like, get a haircut or go have a pint outdoors. Not really a drinker, so I wasn't really bothered about the pint. But I didn't realize that my hairdressers had started taking online bookings early. So I was late to the booking. So I had to, I've had to wait. But I, I just, I, I can't wait. I, I really can't. It's, it's going to be so good. I feel like my head is so heavy. All right. And it's definitely not a large brain that's, <laughs> that's weighing it down. It's the massive amount of hair that's back there, and oh my god, I just can't wait. I really can't. I reckon I, I probably should have just gone bald by this point. I like, I I wish I had hereditary baldness at this point. I really do. Because <laughs> it's been, it's been a hard couple of months with a haircut like this. And I say this in jest. I know the world has, has been going through a lot. And look, my hair is not the focus of it. But hey, you know, it grows on my head. And <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Anyway, um, boomstick, maybe, yes. Staff of regrowth. Not quite, Terraria, not quite. Remember how I was bigging it up? I was like, oh, this would be easy. Barely an inconvenience. Um, oh god, come on. Please, Fire Imp, don't kill me, don't kill me. Boomstick, no. Oh god, alright. This, this might be a saga. The boomstick saga. The boomstick boys are back, though. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Alright, so, turns out, not that easy finding a boomstick. This always happens to me. I'm like, yeah, it'll be fine. You know, it's it's, it's simple. Not so much. Alright, I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to change it up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to stick to the gun theme. So what weapon are we going to get? Well, I'll give you a second to decide. What do you think I'm going to go with? Alright, predictions down below. I'm going with the space gun. That's right. I'm going with the space gun. I'm going to go mine the meteorite to the to the left. I'm not going to change armor. I'm not going to do that. All right. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not that committed <laughs> to the space gun, but I will use it. They've, they've changed the sound effect now, and I, I do think it is a lot better. I will admit. And I wonder if my game is going to have the old sound effect or the new one. I don't actually know. Uh, but yeah, there is some meteorite over here. So I just think, well, if I, you know, finish my mana crystals, because I have a bunch of them in the storage, and grab, like, magic power, and what? <laughs> oh, have I forgotten how to do this? Really? All right. Um, okay, let's make... I'm wondering if Fargo's soul mod changed that, or am I just being silly? Oh, the <laughs> this is not good. So, because I, I sold all our scales from the last episode, we can't actually make the, the pickaxe, I don't think. Unless I just don't have the bars. Let me just quickly check. Alright, let's make some bars. Alright, so I didn't I didn't have any bars anyway. Alright. Pick. Hey, Deathbringer, your boy. Um, alright, better pickaxe is always good. Alright, let me go let me go grab that. Man, my, my knowledge of everything is, like, really going out the window. <laughs> I think it's because I'm, I'm jumping between versions. You know, you've got this version. Well, you've got 1.3.5. You've got 1.3.5 with mods, so then that changes everything. And then I've also got, like, a little bit of knowledge of 1.4. 
So it's, it's all kind of, you know, like for example, in 1.4, when does a meteorite spawn? I have no idea because I know they changed it and I don't know if they changed it so that the meteorite still spawns in at the same time or you can't mine it until you have a certain pickaxe. I don't actually know. So I need to learn that. That's going to be interesting when we go into 1.4 modded because I've got so much to, to learn really about that update still. I still have not mastered it. I haven't played the game with every class. You know, it's such a good update. It is. I can't wait to play it with mods. I feel like it's all going to be so fresh. I feel like I, I still haven't even experienced it. And it's been a year. Do you know what I mean? Okay. That's good, isn't it? you gotta, you got to kind of take it slow. you got to take it slow. Right. So, let's uh, dump all that in there. Let's make some bars. So, we'll make some meteorite bars. Make a whole bunch of those. Look at that. 420. Hell yeah. That's a lot of a lot of ore. Uh, we'll make the space gun. So thank you very much. So now we have a gun, uh, which I will put here. And then we also need to make some mana crystals. So, oh, no. Can you not take those out of inventory? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's make some more. How many do we need? I think it's like six. I'm going to say six. Is that right? Or is it three? Oh, it was free. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm sure they're used for something. Okay. Right. So, before we get into it, let's buy some buffs. So, what we're going to buy is... We're going to buy uh, just the regular. So, Swiftness, Iron, Regen, Endurance, Now Summoning, Magic Power, Magic Regen. We'll buy two of those. Actually, let's double up all of these. Because if we get into a situation again where it's just dragging on, I want to have multiple. All right. There we go. That's the setup. So, buff up. Spawning one of these bad boys. One of those bad boys. One of those bad boys. That bad boy. Hell yeah. There we go. Alright. And we got a gun. So, that's the old sound effect, right? The new one is different, isn't it? Or maybe? I don't know. The good thing about this is... Why is it firing slower? What's that about? Oh, it's going to run out of mana. <laughs> Sorry, forgive me. I'm not used to using the uh, space gun without the meteorite set. I just assume that we should probably keep this one because it's got more regen. Anyway, going back to it. The great thing about this is that every single time we fire and hit something, we also get those little vial feeders that, that summon out. So that's really good to see because it means that, you know, it's just, it's just extra damage. We're not using the um, the accessory from the Brain of Cthulhu that gives you the little Orby boys to block you out. And I think we probably should. Should we try and tank any of this or should we just... No. It's so funny because for so many fights, everyone's like, all right, get yourself some bee nades. It's a common phrase. And now it's like, all right, Queen Bee's like, I, I gotta get myself some bee nades. I don't really know what to do about this phase. So we fly up, maybe? All right, so there's another... There's some more minions. So I think we need to take on the minions. Man, this fight goes on. I'm, so, I'm sorry to say it. But it does a bit. This feels like a very long fight. Maybe... Oh, God. Come on. Maybe... I don't know. Does my sword do a good job? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm getting overrun so quickly. There's too much on screen. Right. So, I feel like I will rounded up there i i want to give people a little bit of time to to suggest something uh because i feel like there's probably something out there that i'm not seeing but queen bee so far i think it's a good fight so uh, i've been noticing a lot of you have been recommending that i start saving my crates now for hard mode i feel like that is actually a, a really good idea so i just want you to know that it's been heard and i'm listening uh, and that is what I'm going to do. Also, did he sell for a lot? No. I feel like herbs should sell for more. I feel like it'd be a great little pacifist way of earning some money. You just become a gardener in Terraria. I could honestly see it. But yeah, I'll, I'll start saving my, uh, my crates and such. But from that, 59 gold, not bad. Right, so that about does it for today. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, a big shout out to our channel members rolling by on screen right now. Um, Yeah, that does it for today. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, as always. Um, So leave those comments down below. Right, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.